On September the 8th, 2022, Chelsea American Owners decided to grab a fresh manager by the name of Graham Potter from a promising Brighton side. Fans were a bit sceptical and worried on seeing if this man can bring Chelsea back to glory days and become kings of the Premier League once again. It's safe to say the fans were right. Graham had everything. He turned himself into an old cavern house, had 200 million to spend, and hey, even had some great banner. The draw, and then we'll try and win the Champions League. There wasn't enough. The club decided to sack Potter as results spoke for itself. But fear not Chelsea fans, as the leading man for the job is an individual who's got a lot of experience at the age of 35. Some say he's the best youngest manager in the world right now, and that's Julian Nagelsmann, a man that strived with Hoffenheim, Leipzig, and especially Bayern Munich. We're going to give this man three seasons with Chelsea and see what the German manager can do. So to kick things off with Julian Nagelsmann campaign, we select the Asian Elite Cup as we want to see how many players can do throughout the cup and also bring an extra bit of cash flow for the club. Now we have selected that, we can now have a look at our objectives for this new season by the American owners. The Youth Academy isn't really a massive deal with the club, We've got a lot of young talent as it is so we won't really dive into that too much. Brand exposure is a crucial one as it seems for the American owners by going on a 10 game home streak. Big ass, but we could definitely do it with the side we got and the growth. And also the long term to sign four top players, which we should easily do in a minute. Domestic success and Continental is quite high as they want Julian de Gaulle to win literally everything in his first season. And also financially, it's quite low, which you can expect as we got very rich owners. Too easy peasy right there. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Now the boring stuff is out of the way, we can now look at this team and it's safe to say it needs work. One player I'm fond of, and I think people can agree on, in decent sense of start being at Chelsea, is Jao Felix. He brings something new to the team. With us having 144 million to play with, and him being on loan, I think it's a smart move to make him move to Chelsea on a permanent. So welcome Jao Felix, you are now officially a Chelsea player. So going through this squad here, it seems like there's a lot of dead weight in the Chelsea camp. It's times like this we need to be harsh and load and sell players to make Chelsea great again. Players like Ziyech, Mudrik and even cover boy Mason Mount needs to leave or go on loan to grow higher and make room for newer players that Julian Nogalsman wants in his side. More sales and loans to come, but now we are focused on other things that are happening. First off, we go on to win our first trophy with the Asian Elite Cup. Finding a young talent from our scouts in, in Reese Reynolds. A player to watch in the future with a potential to be special statistic. Going back to the team, we have no that Julian preferred formation he likes to play is the 4-2-3-1. This team looks good on paper, but we know that one thing from Chelsea, and they are missing a goal-scoring striker. They failed on Lukaku and Werner, so we need to find someone new, and I know just the guy to do so. The player I'm talking about is Serbian striker Vlahovic. A guaranteed goal-scorer should put Chelsea back on the map for contenders for the Premier League. We saved a bit of cash with him with Lukaku with the deal for Vlahovic. We also made three other crucial signings like Eze from Crystal Palace, a fan favourite in Courtois, a former Chelsea man, and a massive England talent in Milan in Tomori. These three signings should be up very nicely for the good season and hopefully secure some silverware in our first season under Julian Nagelsmann. Let's find out what happens very soon. A few moments later. Fast forward in a couple of months and let's see the results. Chelsea finishing 4th in the league, which I'm very surprised with the squad that we have got, only just getting Champions League football for next season. Very odd, things to work on there. Finally some silverware and it seems Julian's side has won the FA Cup against Spurs. However, Chelsea had an absolute shocker in the Carabao Cup, finishing the cup run in 4th round against Leeds 3-1. To finish things off, we did go on to win the Europa Conference League. I'll put Chelsea in this competition due to the fact they are 11th in real life and at that current stage, I just can't see them getting Champions League football anytime soon. With us bringing success back to Chelsea, some players ain't happy and in particular, Joe Felix. 
He says he's not happy due to game time and wants to try somewhere else. Strange, but we'll allow it and we'll accept it and move on. So to wrap things up for season one, Julian Nagelsmann wins the FA Cup and the Europa Conference League. Not a bad start for Julian's side, but he wants and he desires more. So does Chelsea. So I'll see you in season two. Season 2 has arrived and well, not the start we wanted. N'Golo Kante has left. Great. Preferably really not to um, not to speak. Not to fear though, as we can easily find replacement with the 125 million we have got to spend in Season 2. Thank you very much the American owners. The first start of business we have to do is to sell the Chelsea cry baby in jail Felix for a whopping 109 million. Not too bad at all. With pretty much the same objectives in Season 1, to win it all and also now to win the Champions League, we find ourselves needing more improvements in the side, especially the likes of Kante and Jao Felix leaving the team. I decided to invest the club's money into Declan Rice, a player with promising future for club and country and I think a bump up from Chelsea from a very underperforming West Ham is needed. I also defer in Kovacic to save a bit more money to sign one of the best players in world football. Look at this, Pratt. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have secured Neymar Jr. for a whopping 80 million. Was rumoured in real life a couple of seasons back, but with the challenge we have set out, we have made it a reality. We also had the likes of Fofana going out on loan, Madsen leaving for Freiburg, Guto going on a two-year loan to Wolves and our Starball Renos going on loan to the mighty Ajax. With the team looking better than ever, can we secure the Premier League title this season and also secure more silverware with the other competitions? Who knows? Let's find out. A few minutes later. So it seems like we came fourth again. It's time to go! Something needs to change in the league, but looking at the community shield, oh, we lost as well. Shocker. Another one. Finally, some success. We did the double in the FA Cup. First Spurs, now Arsenal. We love to see it. Very nice indeed. Unfortunately, we did fail short in the Cabrera Cup once again, getting knocked out in the semi-finals to Newcastle. A bit closer than round four last season, but improvements are needed there as well. To round things up for season two, we did really well in the return of the Champions League, but just getting knocked out by Bayern in the semi-finals. Season 2 it seems we underperformed a bit throughout the season only picking up one trophy for Chelsea and Julia. However I believe with our performance in the Champions League I think good things are on their way for mighty Chelsea and Julian and the goals. One more season left can we end it with a bang? Let's find out. The last season for Julian has arrived and the team needs more work to secure more titles for Chelsea and Julian's legacy. I stare at the side and wonder where improvements can be made and I believe I have found them. One being Neymar and the other being Koulibaly. Koulibaly to sell due to the fact of old age and will slowly decrease over time in rating. And yes, before you attack me, I know I just signed Neymar but there's a certain individual, a German individual, I just need to get and it'd be the perfect swap deal. And that is Jamel Musilea, a huge prospect for the German national side and Bayern Munich at only the age of 20 years old, a player I must get in the team. With my budget being the same as last year, we have to get rid of Neymar to save a bit of cash for more potential signings in the near future. As time flies by, we see more and more players leaving Chelsea Football Club. Players like Cowill to Darmstadt, Mudrik to Chelsea for 40 million and our future star Reynolds to Liverpool and Fafana on loan to Celta Vigo. As you can see we get a chance of revenge against the Scousers in Liverpool in the FA Community Shield. Last time we played these they got the relaxing 1-0 win against us and left Chelsea and their fan base walk out of Wembley in tears. Is this going to be a fairy tale for Liverpool or is Chelsea going to get their ultimate revenge? I can reveal that Chelsea get their revenge and get a tight win, a 5-4 win in the penalty shootout. Get in. With training continuing throughout the weeks and more players departing the club for a loan spell or a fresh start, 
we decided to break our transfer signing fee with another Bayern Munich player. That's right, we got the Dutchman in Delin for our Kula Bali replacement at a staggering £108 million. Pounds. With the new additions to the side, the team looks unstoppable on paper, but can Julian leave this finale on a high or a low? Only one way to find out. I'll see you in a moment. So ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We have made it to the Champions League final. And it's against our rivals throughout this entire challenge in Liverpool. Can we do the double over them this season and bring back the Champions League title back to Chelsea? Yes we can, with a 3-2 win thriller in against the mighty Liverpool. Get in! Unfortunately we did come short again in the Premier League, coming fourth in the league for the third time. So, you know, let's, let's not take the piss here. That's just pure unluckiness if I uh, got to say there. Very annoying. Of course we did win the Community Shield like we saw earlier. Happy days. We finally fell short on our trusted cup we always did well in and that was the FA Cup. Getting knocked out as favourites in the third round to mill away. Big shocker from us, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Finally, at last, we got the Carabao Cup trophy against a very strong side in Man City. One we needed to tick off and we finally did it in Season 3. To round things up, I'm pretty happy with the side and what we achieved with Julian Goldsman. And I think within the three seasons challenge, we did okay. We did pick up two FA Cups, one European Conference League Cup, one FA Community Shield, one Cabrera Cup, and of course, one Champions League Cup in Season 3. It's a massive shame we didn't lift the Premier League title, but that's football. Sometimes it doesn't always go your way. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.